Hello and welcome to Open Codeless. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple medication codeless. Before you get started, I'd encourage you to read two blogs. One is about the NHS Dictionary of Medicines and Devices and the other is about BNF codes. I've shared the links to both these articles in the description below the video. Very briefly, both of these systems, DMD and BNF codes, are medication coding languages that underpin NHS Medicines data. Okay, so here we are on codeless.opensafety.org. In the top right hand corner, once you've made an account, you can go to my code list to create a new medication code list. So let's create a code list here. I'm going to give the code list a name. Let's make one for simvastatin. Let's just start off with a very simple medication code list. There's a variety of coding systems you can choose to build in. Today we're interested in the pseudo BNF code list I referred to earlier, and we'll make it here. If you do have already built your code list, you can always upload it here with CSV data. Okay, so starting off, this is the whole way what a new code list looks like. Term search is where we start to build our code list. So I know that statins always start with a B and F code 02112. So let's search here first. So we can see this includes lipid regulating drugs. For the purposes of this code list, I just want to include simvastatin. So let's expand out the list and we can see all the various types of lipid, lipid regulating medications that we might want to include. So we can see here at the bottom, I want to include simvastatin and azetamibe. So let's include them but let's exclude everything else. So we just have simvastatin and the zetamide both in our code list. So we want to check is simvastatin elsewhere in the BNF. For example, sometimes combination products can be saved elsewhere. So again, by searching by the keyword simvastat, it brings up some more lists. So we can see I've previously excluded phenofibrous simvastatin. So actually I might want to include this. So here by surgery by a different term, I can change this back to, okay, let's include all the simvastatin preparation in combination. With preparation here, which is in the skin chapter, cholesterol simvastatin, this is related to skin, it's probably topical. I won't want to include this for my code list. So let's exclude that there. So, Coming back, this is our full code list. So we're not including that. We can see all the terms that have been included. So you'll want to share this with colleagues to make sure they can check it off. And then everyone can see what's been excluded. So we're happy with that. I save the changes and that publishes it here. We can now see the full list and we can see the tree of what's been included. So we've included phenofiber and simvastatin, simvastatin itself, and we can expand these out to see them different brands of simvastatin. And then finally, simvastatin and azetamibe. Here we can see the term searches. So that gives full transparency for anyone who wants to see how you created the list. And finally, we must complete the about section. So here I want to edit the metadata, and this is a code list for simvastatin want to say about the methodology. So here I can say I used BNF codes and I can describe the term searches, but they are already there. References, so you may have some GitHub discussion or you may have taken the code list and built upon it from a academic paper. You can fill in the text and URLs here. And here are the sign off. So these are the people that have quality assured and checked your code list. So today it's just me but if we're going to make this live on the site, I'd be looking for a colleague and we can add more colleagues here to check it. And finally, we submit and that creates a draft simvastatin code list. I can now share this URL with colleagues so they can have a check. And when we're happy with it, we can publish it here. And there we have on codelist.opensafe.org, we now have a simvastatin medication code list that can be used in studies on open safety or indeed elsewhere anywhere that uses a medication code list thank you for listening that's how we make a medication code list specifically with bnf code lists for open safety you'll want to turn that into the nhs dictionary of medicines and devices and here you can download this in dmnd but we'll come back to that later thank you